Hello everyone. Welcome to Quantifiers. Uh, students, today I have taken a very good question on the topic of time and work. It's an easy question and I would also suggest you that do not miss out time and work. It is one of the easier topics if you compare it with other topics. So please uh, go through last five year uh, CAD papers, right? And solve each and every question of time and work. It's a very scoring topic, I would say. Okay, now before we move on to the question, let me tell you if you're a serious CAD aspirant and if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges and different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other than the students, we also have a WhatsApp group, Facebook group and Telegram group for daily doubt solving. You can join that group as well. A link for that is also there in the description. Now let us come to the question. I would request everyone, please pause the video and give this question a try. So the question says P working alone takes 50% more time than it takes Q working alone to complete the same job. So first this information ko use kar lete. So P and Q, if they are doing the same work, then P is taking 50% more time. So from here we can say that if Q takes let's say two days, so P will take three days. Ratio of their time will be three is to two. Okay students. I hope uh, ye bhi aap sabko pata hai ki efficiency is inversely proportional to time. Agar time zyada lag raha hai, that means efficiency kam hai. Or time kam lag raha hai, to efficiency zyada hai. To efficiency ka ratio kya hoga? It will be reciprocal of the ratio of time. To time ka ratio 3 is to 2 hai, efficiency ka ratio would be 2 is to 3. Further, it is given that P and Q, they start working together and they complete 60% of the work when C joins them. To kaam karte hai, information ko use kar lete hai. कि जब P और Q ने काम स्टार्ट किया, they did 60% of the work before C joined them. And then three of them, they take another five days to complete the task. इसके बाद तीनों ने काम किया और तीनों ने कितने दिन लिए? पांच दिन लिए. So they worked for five days. It is also given that Q did 46% of the complete work. तो Q ने जो टोटल काम किया है, that is 46% and we need to find how many days did P and Q work before C joined them. So basically, we have to duration this duration that P and Q have C se pehle kitne din ek kaam kiya tha. Now students use this information because ratio of their efficiency is 2 is to 3. So can I say when they did 60% of the work, so 60% they must have done in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So from here we can easily divide 60. We can say that P must have done 24% of the work and Q must have done 36% of the work. I hope each is clear. And students, we also know that Q is doing a total of 46%. That means in the last five days, in the last five days, Q must have done 10% of the total work. So students, we just need to find कि ये वाली duration कितनी है अब मुझे पता है कि इस particular duration में Q ने कितना काम किया है 36% काम किया है तो हमें बस यही निकालना है to complete 36% Q is taking how many days and we know that Q is doing 10% of the total work in 5 days अगर 10% का काम करने में 5 दिन लग रहे हैं so we can easily calculate कि 36% काम करने के लिए Q ने कितने दिन लिए होंगे so obviously Q must have taken, you can see 5 is half of 10, right? 5 is half of 10. So obviously 36 ka half kitna ho jayega? That would be 18 days. So that means initially when they work together, they must have worked together for 18 days. That's it. 18 is the answer. It's a very easy approach and very easy question. I hope you liked it. If you like it, do share it with your friends and please do subscribe our channel. Thank you, everyone.